Now I've taken the initial steps to prepare my data. Everything's in the same spatial reference and everything is clipped to the study area boundary. Now I'll create a new empty Spatialite database in which I'll import my data sets. So I have QDIS desktop open with the Lab 2 project loaded and I'll switch to the browser tab. And down at the bottom I'll find the Spatialite database connection. I'll right click on it and simply choose create database. I'll navigate to my Lab 2 data folder and I'll name the new database Gifford Pinchot and click Save. The database has been created and the database will now appear under the Spatialite database connection. So if I expand this now, I'll see the Gifford Pinchot SQLite database. And the final task in this lab, you'll populate the database with these eight layers.